In this tutorial, we are going to see how to integrate Playwright with Azure DevOps pipeline. And firstly, we will see how to create the repository in Azure DevOps. And we will see how to install Azure Repos extension in VS Code. And then we will push the Playwright test automation framework into the Azure DevOps. And then we will start creating the Azure DevOps pipeline. And we will see how to run the Azure DevOps pipeline. And also we'll see how to auto run the pipeline based on the PR merge. And then, so we are going to see how to add the Playwright report into the Azure DevOps pipeline results. And finally, we will see how to publish the JUnit format test results into the Azure DevOps pipeline. Now let's start creating the repository in Azure DevOps. So here you can go to the ADO that is a Azure DevOps and if you do not have any projects you can start creating the project you can click on the new project so here you can provide the project name as any name so it can be pipeline demo so you can give any custom name guys so it is not something you can give the any specific name here and here you can select the private and click on create So that's it. So we have created a project now. So let's create a repository now. So simply you can on the left side, you can see multiple options. So you need to click on the repos. And after clicking on the repos, so simply you need to click on the this particular drop down. And here you will see the one option called new repository. So here you can provide the repository name. So in my case, I will provide a repository name as Playwright test automation and then I will click on the create button so that's it we have created the new repository called playwright test automation and simply you can click on the clone to get the URL simply copy this that's it guys so we are done with creating the repository in the Azure DevOps now so I will clone this particular repository in my local system and then I will add the Playwright automation framework into the repository and I will push into the Azure DevOps repository. So I will go to the my local VS code. So firstly, we will see how to install the Azure repos extension. Then we'll see how to push the Playwright test automation framework into the Azure DevOps. So let's see how to install the Azure repos. So simply you can click on the extensions and here simply type Azure repos. So that's it. So here you will see the one extension called Azure repos that is provided by the Microsoft. So see, so here you will find the install button. In my case, I have already installed it. And if you see the other extension, so you will see the install button like this if you have not installed it. So in my case, I have already installed the Azure repos. So that's it guys. So we are done with installing the Azure repos. Now we have created a Azure DevOps repository and we have to clone it in the in our local system. So simply you can click on the clone git repository and simply paste the URL which we have copied it from the Azure DevOps. So after clicking on clone, so here we are getting the one URL. Simply copy this URL and paste it inside the VS code. So that's it guys. So simply press the enter and it will ask the location where you want to clone the repository. So in my case, I'm selecting the location where I want to clone the Azure DevOps repository. So here I have selected a folder called Azure pipeline that's it so it started cloning the repository so if you see here so it has given one pop-up simply you can click on the open that's it and if I go to this particular location so here I have already opened the location so if you see here 
So this is where exactly we have cloned the Azure DevOps repository. And if I open the Playwright test automation folder, and inside that we are having only readme file, right? So let's add all our Playwright test automation framework folders inside this particular folder. So here I have already created a framework. So simply I will go to that go to that particular folder and I'll copy all the files and I'll come back to the folder where we have cloned Azure DevOps repository and I'll paste it here. So that's it. So now I will go back to the VS code and if you see here, you can see all the changes, whatever the files we have added. So it is showing all the changes over here. That's it. Now we can click on the source control and after that simply add the commit message here. So here I'll say initial commit. That's it. And here I will select the commit and push and here I'll say yes. So it started pushing all the folders and files into the Azure DevOps repository. So we got the some pop-up here. Simply I will ask me later. So that's it guys. Now I will go back to the Azure DevOps pipeline, sorry, repository. Simply I will refresh the page. So if you see here, whatever the Playwright test automation framework folders we have added in the local system, we are able to push into the Azure DevOps repository. So this is how we can create the repository in the Azure DevOps 